guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look that I am wearing. I don't have any fake tan on pretty much. I scrubbed it all off so I am pale and I am actually very surprised at how nice this look came out with my pale skin. So this is definitely suitable for someone with super pale skin and I am certain it would look good on someone with more medium to dark skin. So yeah, I thought I'd just throw that in there that I don't have any tan on and I'm actually really happy with this look. I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon. So I'm starting out with my base and I am priming using Bare Minerals Prime Time. As you can see, I am running low, so I had to use the little tube nozzle thing to apply it to my face, and then I'm just blending it out with my fingers. Then moving on to foundation, I am using NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Gobi. Um, this is one of my palest shades, but it still has a yellow undertone, which is what I like, um, because I am still quite on the warm side even with no fake tan on so I'm just applying that with a damp beauty blender. Then to prime the eyes I'm using MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just applying that using a Sigma Bake Precision Brush I believe it is. The eyeshadow palette I'm using is the Lorac Pro palette which I haven't used for ages but I'm taking the shade cream first off and just using a large eyeshadow brush I'm just buffing this all over the lid. And then to use as a transition kind of shade, I'm using taupe with my Sigma E40 brush. It's a bit too dark for a transition shade. That's the only thing I feel like this palette is missing, but that's all good. It turned out to be a dark look anyway. So I'm just buffing this right into the crease and bringing it all the way in towards my nose as well. Then I'm going in with a MAC 217 and the shade Sable, and I'm just focusing this in the outer corner, going in circular motions, and then bringing it right into the crease and I'm being pretty precise with this using windshield wiper motions so that I don't get this product too much onto the lid because this is obviously a cut crease look and we want it to be nice and kept in the crease. <laughs> then I'm going in with this tiny 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 little crease brush from Sigma as well and I'm using the shade Espresso which is a nice dark brown and I'm just doing the same kind of thing, applying it in the outer V and then bringing it into the crease. This brush is literally the most essential thing for a cut crease look I have ever used. Um, I would highly, highly recommend it to anyone ever. Like, it is so handy. And I'm using the same brush with the black shade. Um, just, I started off on the lower lap, I mean the upper lash line, just sort of buffing it along. And I did end up adding more later. Um, I'm going in with some MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in NC15 and I'm just using a concealer brush to apply it to the lid where I want the open lid space to be. So you want to kind of cut the crease with this brush so you want it to be quite a precise brush. Um, and then I'm taking the shade white just to set the concealer and make sure it's nice and bright. Then I just started out by going in with the 217 brush again just to buffer out the edges but I do go back in with some more of the sable shade in just a second so I'm just taking it and sort of buffing the edges so that where the white shade and the darker shades in the outer corner meet it's nice and soft. And here I'm just adding some more of a mixture of black and espresso to the outer corner. And then I'm just going in with the 217 once again, making sure everything is super blended. Then I'm taking the black again on a flat shader kind of brush, it's like just a skinny flat brush. And I'm just pushing this into my lash line just to make it like look nice and dark and smoky. And then I'm going to tight line using my Rimmel Scandalize Cold Pencil in black and give my eyelashes a curl, apply some mascara, this is the Maybelline Colossal something something, it'll be listed down below. 
and then I'm just applying the EXO Beauty Gold Digger Lashes. Moving back onto the face, I'm using the Pro Longwear Concealer that I used on my eyes for my face. So I'm applying it with my Beauty Blender underneath my eyes and cleaning up the edges of the eyeshadow and then just down the center of my face. And then to set those areas, I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and I'm using the light shade to press this into all those concealed areas. And I decided to use my Beauty Blender because it uh, applies a lot of product and I just like it. And then I'm going to use the contouring shade to chisel those cheekbones. So I'm using this Sigma brush. Um, I forget the name of it, but again, it'll be listed on the screen in a moment. And I'm just, yeah, buffing this all around the perimeters of my face, under my cheekbones, under my chin, around my nose, all of those kinds of areas. And then again, I'm just taking that lighter shade and my beauty blender and I'm just going underneath the contour to sharpen it out. Then I'm using this Sigma Aura powder which is a beautiful blush in the shade Pet Name and it's nice and pale so if you are super pale this will be a great shade for you because it's not too dark. And then going in with the Tardis Pro Glow palette I'm using the shade Lit and I'm just highlighting my cheekbones and down the center of my face with a Sigma fan brush. Moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking Sable again on my 217 brush and I'm just buffing this right underneath the lower lash line and I'm bringing it fairly in towards the uh, nose again just to add to the smokiness. And then I'm just taking the black on that flat brush again and just really pushing that into my lower lash line. As you can see, I'm getting as close as I possibly can. And then I go in with a crease brush and, no, not a crease brush, I'm sorry, a smudge brush. And I'm just smudging that out and making it nice and smoky. And then to highlight the inner corners, I'm using the shade Nude and applying that all in those inner corners, obviously and to my brow bone. Then I'm just taking a chocolatey metallic brown pencil from Models Prefer and I'm using this in my waterline and then applying some lower lash mascara and that completes the eye look. Then for lips, I just went in with a Colourpop lippy stick. This one is in the shade Skimpy and it is a beautiful glossy nude and once that is applied the look is complete i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next one bye